Hi, my name is Jeroen Herzberger, three-time Olympian and Osaka athlete. And I'm going to be your guide to choosing the right stick. It can be very difficult to choose the right stick, which is perfect for you. And I'm going to try and help you choose the right one. And today, we're going to look at the Pro Tour 100 Low Groove. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to test the Low Groove and see how does it hit, how does it pass, how does it dribble, and how does it flick. So let's go. So what do we need to know about the low groove? Well, first of all, 98% carbon, 1% Kevlar, and 1% backhand blade reinforcement. The maximum ball point is about 24 millimeters from the top of the head, and two millimeters is the maximum ball point. For the rest, this stick is made for maximum slap power and also in a combination with the ultimate drag flick stick. I have to say, I use this stick myself, so it's not gonna be very hard for me to sell it. Um, it has the unique low groove uh, which no other stick has in the Osaka range. So um, yeah, let's see how it performs. So, first part, how does it hit? Well, what I really like about this stick is that it's got a lot of power in the bottom of the stick. So because of the low groove and also because of the low bow, the ball flies off nicely. You can get the ball into the air really nicely, but you need to be careful you don't lean back too much. So really lean, lean into it, you can get a strong shot. I also did the reverse, and there's that extra blade reinforcement, meaning if you can really hit it in the heart of the ball, it'll get a lot of speed. What you need to be careful with, with the low groove, is that you get the right angle on the ball, otherwise you could not get optimal contact. But all in all, I love hitting with this stick. So, second part, how does it dribble? Well, the low groove also has a low bow, which means that um, the curve of the stick is a bit lower uh, towards the ground. And what I like about that is that you can stay a little bit more upright, you can still get a lot of control with the stick. It also means you don't have to turn your stick as far to go back and forth for the Indian dribble. So, for skills and for, for dribbling, I really like this stick. Because of the low groove, the ball tends to stay in the stick and it's a little bit like a half pipe. So because of the low groove, the ball tends to really hang in there. All right, so how does it flick? I did a drag flick, I did an, an overhead, and so especially for the drag flick, this stick is mainly made for drag flicking. It's also one of the reasons why I use it, is because of the low groove. The ball tends to stay nicely inside the low groove. Okay, obviously that means you have more control over the ball, but what it also means for the drag flick is that it's easier to flick high and you don't have to get under it as much. So because the ball tends to hang in the pocket, you can really at the last moment decide, do I want to flick high or low? And that's what I really like about this stick. And it gives a bit more power because it feels like you can release harder without this, the ball getting out of control. When it comes to the overhead, because of the low bow, it sits nicely in the pocket, so you can get under the ball really easy, and if you get hold of it, it can really fly off and get the extra distance. So for, for drag flicking and for uh, overheads, I reckon this stick is perfect. Okay, so the fourth part, how does it pass? I tried all the different type of passes that you can actually do in, in the game, and um, I have to say it passes fine, hitting, uh, push pass, everything, little backhand flots, um, but especially with the slap, it feels like it gets a bit more power. So if you get the slap right, and you get nice contact on the ball, it feels like it really flies off, and it gets extra power. So all in all, when it comes to passing, this is a fine stick, and for slapping, it feels excellent. All right, that was the low groove for you. I hope you liked that video. If you want to see more 
uh, information about the specifications of the low groove, check out the website and you can find out where to buy it. Um, good luck choosing the right stick and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!